Hey lovelies. So I'm taking another stab at this passion twist hair. This is the 12 inch pre-twisted passion twist. So I got an eight pack from Los Moir Amazon store. I think that's how you say the name. You see it right there on the pack. It's pre-looped and this is in the color 1B. The unopened package is actually butterfly locks that I'm gonna review for you guys later. These passion twists are springy, lightweight, and they have a nice moisturized look to them. They're not stiff at all and they have a lot of movement. I tried a specific braiding pattern for this, but before we get into that, I just wanna fill you guys in on what I've been using to smell good and feel good. These are the fragrances from Dossier. They have affordable scents inspired by iconic perfumes like Gucci, YSL. The two scents I got were from Tom Ford and those perfumes are pretty expensive. They could be anywhere from $300 to $400. So this is an affordable way to try some of those perfumes. I'm probably never gonna buy anytime soon because they're too expensive. <laughs> so if you already have one of these signature fragrances, I recommend you purchasing and seeing if you can really tell the difference. You might end up saving some money. So one of the scents that I picked up was Oriental Cherry and it's everything I really hoped it would be. It's very warm. Once you spray it, there's an initial burst of cherries, which is wonderful, some warm vanilla, some spices, and then some fresh flower scents that's not too overpowering. I do recommend this one. I got lots of hugs and compliments from my husband. <laughs> the next scent is Oriental Sage, also by Tom Ford. Um, both of these scents are unisex, but my husband was leaning more towards this one. Um, if we had to share, would be more inclined to use this one because it's such a neutral scent. The main notes of this perfume are sage, leathery notes, orris, and tonka bean. And the main middle note that I notice is vanilla. I love vanilla. So this would be a good one to share with your significant other. And trying Dossier is absolutely risk free. How it works is you can try out five cents or more at a time. Um, shipping is always free for up to at least three fragrances. Um, you try the fragrance out once you receive it. In that first box, I got a little sample. So you can either use those or you can just sample the full bottle. And you have up to 30 days to return the fragrance if you don't like it or if you feel it's not similar to the iconic fragrances that you love and you wanna just keep spending a whole bunch of money. And then you can return the Dossier perfume um, up to 30 days, no questions asked. And don't forget to use my code BREE10 for 10% off. It's going to be available for one month after this video is posted. Um, so be sure to hop on that so you save 10% off your Dossier fragrances. Shout out to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Now back to these passion twists. <laughs> Let's get this going before this little guy starts fussing. Because if he starts fussing, it is over. <laughs> So this is the braiding pattern that I'm going with for these crochet passion twists. The top part give the illusion of individual um, twist. That way you can pull your hair up and it looks more natural. I watched Mary Kay Bella's videos here on YouTube and it just made everything so much simpler. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is stretch out the loop that way you can bring the needle and the rest of the hair through that loop so it's very simple you just put the needle through your hair with the latch closed once it's through the braid put the loop of the hair around the needle close it and then bring it through the braid then take that loop to bring the rest of the hair through it to tighten it to the braid as you can see i'm starting at the very back of my hair where the braids attach um i kind of wish i didn't do that i end up actually taking those the first row out um, but yeah I started to run out of hair and it really didn't need it to be as full in the back because the hair kind of covers everything so yeah you could just start further up like right above where your braids connect instead of doing it right on it but if you want to do that um, if you have enough hair and that's how you want it go for it <laughs> So this little Samir hair makes everything super easy. The hair doesn't get tangled. Um, it isn't really rough in your hands. It's pretty soft and it has a nice shine to it. The pre-loops are really easy to work with. I really like that because 
because if the loops are hard to work with that can make the style more difficult so this is how my hair looks so far in the back in my opinion it's not it's not too full um i wanted it to cover all the braids because my braids are kind of thick but i figured i better move to the sides in the front and you'll see why in a minute so once I start to attach the passion twist to the individual um, boxes, the illusion, <laughs> I'm making sure to place the passion twist right in the middle so it looks more realistic. Now once you get to the front where your edges are, be very careful. If I can go back, I would even loosen the braid. Um, but I just wanted to make sure everything looked it nice and seamless. But yeah, um, I ended up having a little problem with the tension in the front. Um, and it can be simply solved by just loosening up the braid a little bit and not tightening the passion twist too tight. Where I really messed up was pulling my hair up in the front and just keeping it that way for <laughs> days. But yeah, we'll talk about that in another video. In the future, I probably will start styles like this in the middle, that way I make sure, in the front or the middle, that way I can make sure I cover everything, but it still turned out pretty good. Oh, and no worries, I'll leave the link in the description box where you can purchase this hair from Amazon. The shipping is extremely fast, and a lot of times they do have a coupon, so be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I'm just filling it in here. I figured I'd either wear it to the side or up mostly up so I didn't have to put as many um, passion twists in the front which worked out I feel like I could have used at least one more pack of hair to really cover up the braids in the front and still cover up everything in the back but overall I think I have pretty good coverage it wasn't too heavy But anyway, I did enjoy my first attempt at crocheting Passion Twist. I feel like this worked out better for me. Um, it was much faster than trying to actually twist it individually into my hair. But yeah, so I look forward to trying more styles and learning from my mistakes and just getting better at doing my own hair because it can be a challenge. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe, like, comment, and get me back in the algorithm because my numbers are all messed up. <laughs> it's my fault though, but if you can help me out, I really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post. Because I know it's few and far between, but I still love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!